What up, everybody? It's your boy, Wes, the director, back again for another reaction video. This time, we're going to react to the new trailer just came out today for the Blue Beetle. Now, you might be asking, who the hell is the Blue Beetle? Uh, well, Blue Beetle is a character, is a DC character. He's been around quite a while, actually, but this version of Blue Beetle will be the version of uh, Jaime Reyes, who is a young Mexican kid living here in America. But he, originally, he's in like in El Paso, Texas, or something like that. I'm not sure where they said it in the in the series. Probably same, but he, uh, the Blue Beetle, is this character that has these powers. It's like from a gets his power from like this alien tech. It, uh, it seems alien. We're not sure. It might be Egyptian or ancient. It's a scarab. It's in the form of a scarab, like a spider thing or whatever. And that's where his powers come from. But it is like alien technology. So very interesting character. Really one of the more powerful ones in the DC universe, to be honest with you. I think his powers are like, you know, flight, uh, you know, super strength. He has like pyrokinesis. He can uh, also shape his you know, uh, like conjure up weapons and, uh, you know, meaning like swords, guns, all types of stuff. Really, really interesting. And the scarab is kind of like alive. So it's like the scarab forged to his spine, you know, his spine and, um, it has a psychic link with him so they could, he, it could talk to him so he could hear what the scarab is saying to him. And, and the way they've done, uh, portrayed the scarab in the, in the past, it's pretty funny because like the scarab itself is really like, you know, talk about it. they have this banter back and forth with each other, you know. So not quite like say um Iron Man and Jarvis, but similar, but not quite. This the scarab is really like has a mind of his own. Like he'll go into defense mode if something seems threatening, because he's only gonna live to like, you know, protect the host. That's just to give you a little little detail. Uh, if you if you ever watched Justice League Un Unlimited or uh, Teen Titans or Young Justice, uh, you may have seen Blue Beetle and pretty just didn't know where he was. So we're going to react to that. They finally made a character that's a, a Mexican character. That's why, you know, they went with that one. There's other versions, but this is the version that's the most modern version that people know. So we're going to watch that in a minute and shh, react to it and you know and of course this video is always sponsored by b2s media shout out to worth a billion apparel right here um always and of course as you can see down the low fair use copyright disclaimer under section 107 of the copyright act of 1975 allowance made for fair use quote unquote <laughs> and the purpose was such as criticism comment news reporting teaching scholarships education and that's all falls under what we're doing here reacting so with that no no other things being said or that being said we're going to get right in to and check it out because i've never seen i'm interested to see what they're going to do with this version of it dc you know always has something going on they're always you know they've been taking a pound and from marvel so let's just see if we can get this popping all right here we go Let's get it. Excuse me, Mr. Reyes. You finished scraping the gum off that lounger or what? Oh. <laughs> okay. Everything right now feels so out of reach. You always land on your feet, bro. You're high man. They don't get out much. <laughs> I just want to rock. Jenny? The color scheme. God, I bet you know why. But do not open it. You went in to get a shot, and all you brought back was a hamburger? Okay, I don't think it's a burger. You haven't looked? What the hell is that? Oh. Sarah. How did you get it to do that? I think he likes me. <laughs> that caught me off guard. Hey, man. There it is. Nice. This ain't what you want. This ain't what you want. This ain't what you want. Nice. What the? Oh, oh that so looks. Who said that? It's okay. It's gonna be okay. Oh. 
Nice. <gasps> Free entry systems ready. Wait, 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 no, no. This ain't what you want. This ain't what you want. This ain't what you want. Oh, the music. Oh. Nice. What's going on? I just want to rock. It's called the Scarab. It's some kind of world-destroying weapon. It's designed to protect its host. Sometimes it does what you want, and sometimes it doesn't. I, I, I think I cut a bus in half. The Scarab chose you, but it belongs to me. So we surrender. Okay. The low you feel for your family makes you weak. I just want to rock. The universe has sent you a gift, and you have to figure out what you're going to do with it. That's my Whatever you can imagine, I can create. Let's party. Oh, yeah! Nice choice. I just want to It's like Batman stuff. Batman's a fascist. I just want to rap. <laughs> okay. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, look at that. They say we're available. Blue Beetle. Okay. They even show you they're giving you the comic book references so you can go and, you know, read up on Blue Beetle, find out a little more about it. I would recommend you do that as well. And if you're not a big reader, check out Young Justice. Young Justice, uh, through some of the seasons, has that character in there. Uh, maybe Teen Titans? I'm not sure. And I believe he shows up in Justice League Unlimited. All of those can be found on um, HBO Max. You can go and watch those. But I recommend you read the books. You know, Read the comics. Check them out. Digital, you got digital comics if you want to. Go check but I thought this was pretty cool. I liked, I didn't realize George Lopez was in it. George Lopez, as we know, uh, most famous for the George Lopez show years ago. It's, it's running probably uh, syndicated on like, uh, I don't know, TNT or something. I don't know, one of them shows, uh, one of them things. You can also, uh, you know, you can see it all over us on the streaming too. But the George Lopez show, of course, he's the famous Mexican comedian. Uh, so that's what's up. That's what's up. Um, and the gentleman, I don't I don't remember his name, and I don't know how to pronounce it, even if I did remember it. I know it was weird spelling to it. But that's the kid from Cobra Kai. He's the star. He's playing Hi Jaime Reyes. So nice. And I just I saw Susan Sarandon in there, so I guess she's the villain. So uh, I think it's, it looks pretty good to me. It looks pretty, not really, actually looks really good. Uh, for an early trailer, the um, well, I mean, the film comes out like in July, August, or something like that. So, I guess the film is done. But that trailer, uh, the effects look pretty good in that. So, and as you can see, like I said earlier, he's it's very powerful. That thing flew him up into space. You know what I mean? He's hovering over the over the planet. So, that's the type of power we're dealing with. Uh, with this thing. So this this thing is going to be interesting to see how it now the question is how is this going to fit in to the DC universe or will it fit into the DC universe? We're not sure. I don't know if James Gunn is going to continue to keep this character. I think it's going to be based on the response that we get. And, you know, sales. I think all that's going to be the basis of if James Gunn continues and keeps this these characters in the DCU, formerly the DCEU. Let's see if we can keep this character in the DCEU. Uh, but this one looks fun. It, you know, his whole family watched him change. I thought that was cool. So there's no hiding, no secret identity thing. His whole family knows what he is and who he is. Uh, and they actually witnessed him as the Scarab uh, forged his back and he gets the powers in the suit. The suit was badass. The suit was badass, period. So um, it looks really good. And as you can see from the, from the, from the shots, from the comics and from the shots, you know, uh, screenshots, things like that, it looks 
pretty accurate. Pretty accurate. I'm loving it. So I can't wait to see it. I'm definitely going to be at the theaters and check it out and support it. Y'all tell me what you think down below in the comments. Tell me if you're going to check this out. Tell me how it looks. How would you think it looked? Uh, I thought it was awesome. It looked good for a first trailer. That was good. Didn't reveal too much, but it had to reveal this because no one, you know, a lot of people don't know this character. So it had to kind of reveal, you know, his suit and all that stuff. So, uh, but it's not, you know, they didn't tell you where the scarab came from. It just showed you the girl gave it to him, but maybe there's more detail there on where it actually came from. Um, you heard the, the scar one thing I noticed, the scarab voice is different. They used, they're using like a female robotic type voice, kind of like uh Friday in a way, but not as charismatic. Um, more like the, the voice that, that Peter heard in, in the, in the iron, uh, I mean, in his new suit that Iron Man had gave him and all that. it was kind of like that or in the iron spider suit. Um, but originally the way they kind of uh, projected or how they kind of presented the Scarab voice, he had like a real like raspy type of like, yeah, 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 like that type of sound. And I don't know if he's supposed to be, you know, if it had an accent or anything like that, but I don't know. It, was, it wasn't it was a female voice either. It was a male voice. and Because, you know, I thought it made good for them bantering back and forth, but, you know. We'll see how they do it. They tried to change that, so we'll see how it goes. That's not minor change. Minor change. So anyway, comment, like, subscribe. Let me know how you thought about this video. Let me know how you thought about, uh, you know, what you think, I should say, about this entire trailer. And get back at me. It's your boy, Wes Clark, a.k.a. the director. Yo, we'll check you tonight. Of course, don't forget to watch Real Talk. Every Monday night at 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. Check out Heaven Hollywood. Of course, he drops videos periodically throughout the day. We got all types of things coming on. New show coming up. And uh, check the show tonight. We'll be live at 9 p.m. on Real Talk. Peace out. Real Talk.